today's craft um, challenge is something I saw that actually Victor shared. He saw, and um, I'm just gonna. I watched it. I think it was in Spanish. This um, tutorial, but it was a great tutorial. And I thought, well, let's recycle some of these um, containers. We can reuse them. This is the almond milk. I did try to rinse it, but I'll have to wipe it down on the inside as well. Uh, it's really, it's really um, got bubbles in there. Cause I put some soap in there, and I um, I put some soap in there, and then I went really crazy with a big oops drop of soap. But I'm gonna wipe it down. So. Like I said, this is a tutorial I just watched today, um, but I'm going to do it in English, obviously. Um, and you know what? I don't know who did it, and I'll have to research um, the history on the Google Plus because it was just shared on Google Plus. Um, I should probably just cut down the center here. So I'm just going to cut down the center. This is a really neat idea. I like it. Now what the lady had done is put burlap on the back and then laced it all up on the other side. And I'm just going to show you. Now I'll wipe it down. I hope you guys can see pretty good here hard to tell. It's hard to tell what you guys are seeing for me. Alright, I'm going to try to make that a little smoother of a cut. Now I do have burlap and I'm not sure if I want to do burlap if I want to do it exactly the same way. She also peeled this paper off here, this outside paper on, on the tutorial. So I don't know if that's a, I mean, I could have easily just sanded it, but let's see how that works. Now, oh, I might have did it too thick. I think I did. Wow. Yep. Peeling it off too thickly now, like I'm totally wrecking my thing. The glue stick is gone. What the heck? Okay. Let's not... I've got something stuck on my glue stick. Let's not wreck it all. I think it's just a, like an outer layer. But I think I'm pulling too much off. Oh yeah, I think I'm pulling too much off. I'm going to leave it because I don't think it really matters. And I'm just going to sand some of the sheen off because that's what normally I would do. That way I don't have to paint it. Um, for tomorrow's video on International Crafters. And I got a lot of work because I did oh, so many 10 minute videos and I'm making, I am short. Okay, I have it done. It's kind of coming through more blue now that it's really dry, but that's okay. I'm going to, I actually have a plan on what to do with this now. Playing with it because I've been waiting because I didn't want to do any of the work without you guys. So I had to trim a little bit of the edges off on each side. What I did was I just fold over to match the edge to trim it on each edge. So to trim the outside. So I did trim that just to show you guys that much. So then it would fold nicely like this. So now I've decided what I'm going to make with this. This I actually cut the paper. This is watercolor paper here, very thick. And then a thinner watercolor paper. And it's kind of a mixed paper like I can use for watercolor and other things another one, um, a thicker one, and so I kind of did um, 
too thick, too thinner one. So I'm going to do that and make a little travel watercolor book for painting. So that's what I'm making. Decided that just now. So let's get to it. Let's get finishing it now. So I really could use that because to have a little travel one in my purse. Um, so this is what I'm going to do. It's This is the project. A little travel watercolor. You can even use it for sketching if you guys are not uh, watercoloring or water painting. But um, you just have a, a couple of water brushes. So that would be really cool. So that's what I'm going to do. It would be also a good gift for any water. This is what we have so far. I added a couple things while I was uploading this skull. I thought it was cute. And a few things. Oh, man, this doesn't focus at all this far up. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Moving my camera down. I just have to edit this part out. Okay, hopefully, hopefully we can get that. So this is like a total whole bunch of things in here. I added a few little fibers like this that I got in Happy Meal and I added the skull. So I added these napkin here and here, pieces of that France napkin I had uh, probably given to me and that is it so I'm really liking it and I know I put the skull in there and you guys are probably thinking what but I'm sometimes weird that way and I like things like that so it's gonna it's kind of it's me right so I thought it was really cool I thought it was interesting so I didn't even trim it or anything so I'm just gonna kind of Take care of the edges here a bit.
So let's see here. This is how I got the <clears throat> clearing my throat. I had to punch the hole through. I can only go so far with this. So I had to punch it through on both sides that far. I wanted to get in more, but it didn't work. I put two ribbons through. The longer ribbon to go around this side to tie up. And the shorter ribbon to go on this side. So I used um, E6000 to glue it. So then when it closes, it'll go like this and it'll tie together. So now I just want to put the um, ribbon here that I have picked, slice across here. <clears throat> So I'm just going to go down with some E6000. And I'm going to kind of spread it out just a little bit here. And it should. Blue, pretty good. So now, here we go. Trying to get kind of centered ish and get the right lace on this side up. Push it through because the glue is going to go through. Nice, nice. Perfect. So it's just glued in the center. This is going to be a little bit loose, but that's okay. Let's see what we could do for any. This is how it's going to look. My watercolor pages. I'm going to leave this silver so I can use this for a, a little bit of paint mixing up. And that's going to be perfect. So now I'm just going to let that dry a bit. I don't care that the laces don't match perfectly like this dark blue, but all the colors are really nice in there. So I'm like doing it. Um, purposely like that. What am I going to do? I'm going to use my painters maybe. Should I use my painters? I have some even blue painters. Let's see here. Yep, I could use my blue painters. This is the blue one. There we go. Just going along the edges here just to frame it up with my blue painters. I don't use my blue that often, so it's pretty cool. There we go. I'm going to add a little bit more gold to the edges. Because I can. I love the gold. Love gold. You guys know that. So the 
the more I can throw some gold on there, the more happy I get. So this is my little travel in case I get, you know, bored and inspired. It's a nice to have a little travel one just to even when you're on a car trip or whatever. Oh, I'm going to totally keep this in my purse. Yep. My little watercolor kit. Where is my little watercolor kit? It's going to be so cute. Somewhere around here. Summer is in this mess. Okay, I'm going to dry this up a bit. Now, I'm going to flip it over. Oh, maybe I... Oh, it's pretty dry. I'm going to go over a bit, too, but I think it's too dry. Don't go over too much. Not my way. I did melt it a bit, but barely. Just a bit. It actually gives it some character. Now... You could put flowers and all that kind of stuff on the top, but when you're having it in your bag, if you're going to have it as a travel booklet, it's gonna they they're gonna catch on stuff in your in your purse or your painting bag. So I'm not going to put any flowers or anything on the top for that reason. So now I have a little travel watercolor and like I said I can use this for my palette a little bit and mixing some color so I like that actually no that's why I decided to leave this silver and and then I have the edge here like this I got glue all on my fingers I don't really want to get on this nice silky lace but or ribbon but <sighs> Isn't that pretty? Cute little gift idea as well. There you go, guys. So recycle your your containers. And like I said before, you can add a nice little cameo here with laces and all that kind of stuff if it's just like um, a gift. But for me, I'm going to leave it like this because I want it to be able to be nice and smooth and less chance of it catching in my travel bag. So... That's it, guys. I hope you like it. Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> you know what? Just grab like a duck. That's all I need. Grab like a duck and comment below and let me know what you think. I don't know where I got the thumbs up thing. I don't even use that anymore. But anyways, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.